What's happening guys and welcome back to Top 10 Nerd. In fact, welcome back because this is a part three, so you know why you're here. Today we're gonna dive deeper into some more ultimate versions of The Flash. So if you haven't already watched part one and two, make sure you check those out afterwards. This isn't Star Wars, you can watch this one and then those two, you can watch them out of order, it's fine. Your secret's safe with me. So without further ado, I'm Taylor McWaters, here are our Top 10 Ultimate Versions of The Flash, part three. Let's do it. Number 10, The Crash. This list gets pretty dark, so we'll start it out on a funny note, just to give you a little shred of hope, you know? This version, the crash, is a turtle. Well, in fact, the JLA on Earth C- stands for just a lot of animals. He first appeared in Captain Carrot and his Amazing Zoo Crew issue 14. What a name right there. Of course, alongside other amazing cute heroes like Super Squirrel and Martian Anteater. And also in this universe, Batman is Bat-Mouse. Not a bat, which is odd, but maybe that's too meta. I don't know, I get it. The Crash's main villain is the Weather Weasel. He still runs at blink and you'll miss it speeds despite being a turtle. Honestly, this book is just full of animal jokes. How do you not love that? Also, Elongator. Get out of town, take my money, this is the best thing I've ever seen. Number nine, Lady Flash. After these two scientists were inspired by the current Flash, Barry Allen, Dr. Peter Orloff and Dr. Krulik had different ideas when it came to using the Flash's powers. See, Orloff was into the idea that more of these powers being used could bring society together, bring us into harmony, whereas Krulik was interested in the military use of it. A serum was underway and Orloff used animals as test subjects, just a lot of animals, but Krulik wanted humans to test it on. Both pretty bad. He tried it himself, but after running at super speed for the first time, the friction burned him to a crisp. Yeah, that's how that works. The Kremlin had given the pair three children to test on, Gregor, Bolsla, and Christina. They became Blue Trinity together with Orloff in charge. Now, once the Manhunters betrayed Blue Trinity, the team was sold to Vandal Savage, where he would then experiment with them using a substance called Velocity 9. Shortly after Vandal Savage apparently killed the Flash, Christina became Lady Savage, and then Lady Flash once Vandal gave her a stolen Flash suit. Now, when the Flash did come back to life to take on Vandal, Christina ended up switching sides and in turn was able to keep jogging along in that costume as Lady Flash. And before we continue on with this list, if you guys wanna go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, it's the one that looks like that, not that one, but that one, it really does help us out quite a bit. You guys are the best. Now let's get right back to this ultimate Flash list. Number eight, Sela Allen. Making her first appearance in the Flash Volume 2, issue 146, Sela Allen is from the 23rd century in Central City. She gets attacked by Cobalt Blue, and in turn, she's left in what I think is an absolute nightmare scenario. Everything for her is in slow motion. Kind of like those dreams where you're trying to run, but your legs are made of, you know, toffee. It's not great, it's a nightmare. So her father was determined to now find a solution, because, well, of course. So he attempted to use the Speed Force to cure her, but her consciousness got locked inside of it. Also a nightmare. So now she was a being made up purely of speed. She enhances other speed in there and she dishes out advice. She's helpful, but she can't leave the speed force. What a tragedy. Number seven, Speed Demon. Blaze Allen, coming in hot from the Amalgam universe, is a powerful combination of Ghost Rider Johnny Blaze and Barry Allen's Flash. This unit first showed up in Speed Demon issue one back in 1996, and it all started when Blaze was working at the Quinton Carnival. He married Iris Simpson, but then when the Night Spectre came along and drained Iris of her life force, okay, Blaze Allen fell into a deep depression. If I saw anybody get the life force sucked out of them, I wouldn't sleep, so this makes total sense. Blaze was turning to magic to figure this whole thing out, and no, I don't mean the card game. The real deal, he got so deep into magic that Merlin, Merlin the Magician, helped him bond with the demon Etrigan in order to ensure his late wife's soul was resting in peace becoming Speed Demon. And so now becoming Speed Demon, he would go on to fight Dr. Doomsday, the Two-Faced Goblin, the Night Spectre, and many more. Once his secret identity was discovered by his nephew Wally West, they both freed the souls also being held by Night Spectre, including Iris Simpson and Jay Garrick. Number six, the Tornado Twins. Dawn Allen, the daughter of Barry Allen, made her first comic book appearance with Adventure Comics 373. She was conceived in the 30th century after her dad's retirement, but she was born after his death in the first crisis. She had a twin brother also named Don, just, you know, spelt D-O-N. They had only a fraction of their father's speed, but they were still quite powerful even so. They never got to know their father, so when Wally West arrived in their century, he was kind of shocked that they weren't using their gift to save others every day. But they did assist Wally into getting back to his own timeline by lending some speed force energy. 
After this point, the twins were inspired. They had that fatherly figure to look up to, even if it was only for a moment. After this day, they started to operate as the Tornado Twins. Later on, they would sacrifice their lives to save the Earth from the Dominators, and their deaths were seen in Legion of Superheroes Volume 4, Issue 17. Now, although this portion of Legion history was erased after Zero Hour, their deaths were confirmed in The Flash Volume 2, Issue 92. Number 5. Excess First appearing in Legionnaires in 1994, Jenny was the daughter of Don Allen, one of the twins that I just mentioned. Right after her birth, the family was attacked by Professor Zoom. Her uncle Don and the rest of the family tried to get away. They tried to escape to a parallel Earth using the handy dandy cosmic treadmill, but things went south and Jenny and her family got stranded on Earth 247, aka post zero hour. At first, Jenny didn't inherit any speed powers, but the Dominators, you know, captured her anyways. They saw that last name on her ID and they're like, eh, we're still gonna take her, let's still do it. So she saw her father being tortured and voila, it happened, her powers came to be. So she saved her father and then got out of Dodge and then Jenny started to train right away and it didn't take long until she was drafted into the Legion of Superheroes. I mean, aside from the tragedy, it's a pretty, it's a pretty cool family. Number four, Mary Maxwell. Just imagine, Stan Lee's The Flash was released back in 2002 and it's a fun tribute towards the talented artists and writers at DC Comics. This new look at The Flash introduces readers to Mary Maxwell, a college student living with a degenerative disease. And of course, she was a fan of superheroes. Her father was a scientist working on a cure, but the stealth organization took care of him. Sad stuff. But before his untimely death, he injected Mary with that serum that he'd been putting together, with the key component being hummingbird DNA. So Mary was cured, and as you would guess, she turned into a living hummingbird. No, 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 she got super speed, and she's actually almost as fast as Barry Allen. But the fact that she isn't connected to the speed force makes her a little bit less quick. But still, not too shabby at all. Number three, Dark Flash. Walter West first appeared in The Flash Volume 2, Issue 150. His life was pretty similar to Wally West's, only difference was his eyes were blue instead of green. Oh, and also his wife, Linda Park, did die at the hands of Cobra. Sad stuff. I see why his name is Dark Flash already, yikes. So afterwards, Walter joined forces with Savitar, took notes, and then killed him. So when Linda just randomly appeared outside of the Flash Museum though, things changed. Wally and Linda, the alive Linda, alternate reality, ended up in Walter's timeline, but they weren't alone. Abracadabra followed them through that time stream and then attacked. This guy had to watch his wife die again, which is so brutal. So his next plan was to go back through the time stream to Wally's reality, take his place as the Flash, and maybe, I don't know, do some healing, do some good. When you travel through timelines, things get messy. The realities begin to merge, and the livelihood with everybody at both worlds was now at stake. So while Walter was in his new home, he met Central City Police Scientist Angela Margolin and fell in love only to have to leave her down the road. Walter can't catch a break at all, this is really sad. Number two, Red Racer. Coming from Earth 36, Ray, AKA Red Racer, was a formidable teammate to the Justice Nine. He first appears in Action Comics Volume 2, Issue 9. Red Racer was of course the speedster in this universe, and the leader of this Justice 9 was Optiman, before he got killed by Super Doomsday of Earth 45. Earth 36 is based on the Golden and Silver Ages of DC Comics, and in the Multiversity Guidebook, Red Racer is seen with Barry Allen and other Flashes that I've mentioned, in a flashback to before Crisis on Infinite Earths. Red Racer is a comic book fan who gets his powers and falls in love with Flashlight, one of his teammates, Hank Hallmark who happens to be the Green Lantern of this multiverse. What a powerful couple right there. I mean, they really were living a comic book fan's dream. The thing about being fast is sometimes you need to risk your life for the greater good. So when supermen of the multiverse were being hunted down, Ray himself built a new ship. Now it should have taken thousands of years, so this is a pretty big thing to offer up. President Superman Kal-El warns Ray about the dangers of compressing thousands of years in order to build this new Thule, but Ray replies saying, speedsters never think about the cost. What a legend. Especially after hearing all of that, I'm like, hey man, you should think about like a little bit of the cost, like a, a smidgen of the cost. Iris West II. AKA Impulse, Iris West and her twin brother Jai were born to the third Flash, Wally West and Linda Park. Iris made her first appearance in The Flash Volume 2, issue 225, and when she was born at first she didn't display any powers, but after the three month mark they began to age rapidly, and they were getting faster and faster. Linda was concerned at the rate of their aging, so Wally encouraged them, you know, to use their powers for good and live a full life, even if it is short. Iris is one of the fastest in the game, and by game, I mean the entirety of the multiverse. She's faster than Wally West, so if that doesn't sell you, I'm not sure what will, to be honest. 
Guys, thank you so much for tuning into another part three. Those were 10 alternate versions of The Flash. But before we wrap up here, leave those comments down below. Let us know which other characters or lists you want to see in the future. I've been your host, Taylor McWaters. Keep being you, and we'll see you next time on Top 10 Nerd. Deuces, Magooses.